Good morning and welcome to Agoracom Small Cap Stock News. It's uh, Thursday, January the 9th, 2014. I've done uh, my morning routine. I've gone through a bunch of press releases and found the ones that uh, stand out to me. Uh, and I talk about what stood out from the news. I also give you my insights into that news and also take a look at the stock chart so I can uh, give you an idea of what I see there as well. Uh, the ultimate goal is to try and find investment winners uh, and help you find good companies to do your research on and uh, that's uh, that's what we attempt to do here on the show. I'm Alan Barry Labucan and I'm the chief market commentator for Gorecom. Uh, we're, we try to keep the show to a little around 10 minutes. I think I'm going to go a little bit over today because I got a bunch of companies to talk about. So I'm going to get right to it. The first company I'm going to talk about today is Caden Resources. Caden Resources had some uh, some results, uh, drill results from their uh, gold property in Jalisco State, Mexico, uh, and uh, they had some very good numbers in there. One hole hit a 35 meter intersection of 1.62 grams per ton gold, 214 grams per ton silver, and 0.66 percent copper in that hole. Uh, they had several other holes. You can find that in the press release on the company's website. Uh, just looking at the stock today, it's up two cents on 25,000 shares of trading to a dollar nine. Uh, the stock uh, chart uh, they bottomed. Um, the 52-week bottom was in May. Uh, they got stronger in June, kind of softened up in July, uh, and then went from about mid-July on a very strong move. From about 90 cents per share to a dollar 74 um, by the time it hit September. Since then, it was giving back some a, a lot of those gains or a good amount of gains, but not all of those gains. Uh, they they ultimately moved from a low of 66 cents in the summertime to a dollar 80 uh, in the uh, in the in September. Um, so they've uh, been able to retain a lot of the uh, gains. They've been going sideways for the last. Um, I want to say about uh, two months. Uh, recently, they broke above their 20-day moving average, and just uh, today have busted through their 50-day moving average. So we've got some uh, interesting trends there. Uh, I'm definitely going to be taking a look at adding, uh, talking about this one on my best of the best in weekly news show uh, tomorrow that George Cholis and I do. Uh, so uh, CYD is their stock symbol. They trade on the Venture Exchange. Next company up is Maya, Maya Gold and Silver. Maya Gold and Silver had a project in uh, Morocco and uh, they had drill results from that project. Um, it included uh, 631 grams per ton of silver over 7.2 meters. Uh, they had some more of these high grade uh, uh, silver intersections uh, and uh, you can find that in the company's press release. Don't, I don't follow a lot of companies in Morocco, but uh, you know, anytime I see uh, good drill results, I want to do my homework on these companies. Uh, the stock has not traded anything today. It's trading at 24 and a half cents. It's basically been a dead flat lying stock for the last 52 weeks. Um, you know, that's that really makes a trend hard to uh, identify a trend on that one. Uh, MYA is their stock symbol and they trade on the Venture Exchange. Next company up is Brixton Metals Corp. Uh, Brixton Metals Corp had results from their 100% owned Thorn project. Uh, they've been doing a fair amount of drilling on that project and they had some very nice intersections. One of the highlight holes hit 2.20 meters of 1914 grams per ton silver equivalent. Uh, included in that was um, uh, 583 grams of silver, 10.6% copper, and 2.5% uh, or sorry, 2.5 grams per ton gold, uh, and that was very close to surface. It started at 74 meters of depth. Uh, they had other good drill results in there. You can see that in the company's press release. I'm just going to their stock now. The stock's down a half a penny today to six and a half cents. Uh, and uh, just looking at the trend, and this one's been on under pressure for the last 52 weeks. 
Uh, I would need to see it to try to make a, a bottom here. Um, it does look like it's kind of going sideways along the bottom here, um, but uh, hard to make a call on that one. I don't see a lot to, uh, you know, give me excitement that it'll break out until they start drilling again, and I think they uh, won't be starting drilling again until this late spring. Uh, BBB is their stock symbol they trade on the Venture Exchange. Next company up is Ecuador Gold and Copper. Ecuador Gold and Copper um, obviously has a project in Ecuador, uh, and they had some uh, drilling results from that. Uh, very thick intersections, 294 gra meters of 0.53 grams per ton gold and 0.14% copper for a gold equivalent of 0.72 grams per ton gold. Um, that's that's a pretty thick intersection. You're looking at subgram material there, uh, not very high grade. I'm not uh, a big fan of projects in Ecuador, um, but um, you know, uh, again, I always follow drill results, so sometimes that takes you to places like Ecuador. The stock is down or down a penny today, to ten cents, and uh, the stock chart um, has been actually bottomed in the summertime. Uh, it's been on a pretty good, um, decent move. It was trading at about three cents back then, um, but you know this one doesn't trade a lot. Um, not something I would get overly excited about. EGX is their stock symbol. They trade on the Venture Exchange. Next company is Barrison Gold. Uh, Barrison Gold has a project in Indonesia. Um, I've been doing some homework on this one recently, and um, a bit of my trouble is I know the geology of Indonesia is good, but uh, you know it's still a matter of whether investors will uh, you know uh, get excited about projects in Indonesia, um, considering what's happened in Indo Indonesia historically in the gold business. Uh, I don't want to get into all the gory details, but everybody knows what I'm talking about. Um, they had a uh, they're drilling. They had a pretty thick intersection there of 180 meters, uh, low-grade gold, 0.16 per grams per ton, and low-grade copper, 0.16 percent copper. Um, so it's got thick intersections, uh, but the grades are pretty low. Um, just looking at the stock, and it's down nine and a half cents today to 24 cents on 908,000 shares traded. Um, the stock has actually been on a pretty spectacular move since about uh, um, the beginning of October. They started October or November at about eight cents per share, uh, ran all the way up to 45. Have recently pulled back, but they're still retaining a lot of those gains. Um, so you know the the stock chart's more interesting to me than the uh, than the drill results. Um, BG is their symbol, and they trade on the Venture Exchange. Uh, the next company is Allied Nevada Gold. Uh, they released their fourth quarter and full year preliminary production and sales for 2014, and their guidance for 20. Or sorry, for, that was sales for 2013, and they provided their guidance for 2014. Uh, they produced 190,831 ounces of gold in uh, 2013. Uh, that's record sales and production. Um, from their operating team, and um, they don't have here. Uh, I'm looking for their numbers on their all-in costs. Uh, their cash costs are 825 to 850 dollars per ounce, but I'm s not seeing where their all-in costs are there. Um, you do some homework on that one. Eight, um, there's they're up 53 cents today to $4.66 on a 532,000 shares of trading. So uh, the market really liked what they saw. The stock has been a flat line, flat lining on the bottom here since August. And uh, this is pretty interesting break above the uh, the moving, lo moving averages. Um, really going to watch this one closely. Uh, and um, I, I like what I see there. ANV is their stock symbol. They trade on Toronto. Next uh, company up is Corvus Gold. Uh, Corvus Gold an announced that uh, drill results, they hit their highlight hole hit 33 meters 
of 4.14 grams per ton gold at their Yellow Jacket high grade uh, deposit in the North Bullfrog project in Nevada. Um, and uh, yeah, some very good uh, drill results there. Uh, they had some high grade in there. That's an interesting development. Stock is a dollar twenty-eight today. It's flat on the day. It's only traded forty-six hundred shares today. Um, the stock has really been flatlining since about, uh, let's say, late or uh, early September. Um, yeah, they're. Uh, I'm a little nervous about this one. They've had to re. They have to restate some of their resource calculations. Uh, you know, I, I'd like to see a few things on the fundamental side before I get excited about uh, Corvus Gold. Uh, their stock symbol is KOR. They trade on Toronto. Next company up is Endeavor Silver. Endeavor Silver had, uh, they reported their ninth consecutive year of production growth in 2013, and they set a new quarterly production record in the fourth quarter of 2013. Um, they produced record uh, 6.81 uh, million ounces of silver and 75,000 ounces of gold. Uh, very good numbers there. Um, just trying to see their all-in costs on this production. Uh, their revenue was up 33% to $276 million. Um, I'm not seeing where their... Uh, where their um, all-in costs are. Uh, you'll have to uh, uh, do your homework on that one. Or oh, uh, gold price. Yeah, I'm not seeing their all-in costs. It's got to be there somewhere. Just do your homework on that press release. 402 is the... Uh, the stock is down a penny today to 402 on 106,000 shares trading. Looking at the stock chart, it bottomed in December. Since then, it's broke out quite significantly. It's now trading above its 20 and 50-day moving average, so that's a very good sign. Uh, it's been staying above that 52-week average for the last uh, week or so, so that's an interesting development. Um, this is one I could see uh, uh, talking about uh, tomorrow on the end of the week show, our best of the best in weekly news show. EDR is their stock symbol. They trade on Toronto. Next company up is Balmoral. Balmoral had results up from their Martinier project, which is in Quebec. Uh, they released high-grade uh, gold results from that Detour Gold Trend project. Uh, one of the highlight holes to hit 27.05 grams per ton gold, over 6.22 meters from, from their Bug Lake footwall zone. Uh, this is, uh, and there, there's some details about how this relates to other drill holes that uh, have been done in the past. So that's uh, very encouraging results from Balmoral. Stock is up a half a penny today to 40 cents on 123,000 shares of trading. Just looking at the stock chart, and it's, uh, it's broken out. It had its low about mid-December. Since then, it's broken out quite nicely. It's above its 20 and 50 day moving average. It's now touching the 100 day. Uh, and uh, if it can break above that, that could be a very, uh, very significant breakout. Um, I'm just, uh, I would definitely consider this one for the uh, end of the week show. BAR is their stock symbol. They trade on Toronto. Next company is Nevson. Nevson achieved their top end of 2000 production guidance or 2013 production guidance uh, from their um, from their project in uh, I believe it's in Eritrea uh, that this uh, main project is in, involved in and uh, they had some pretty good numbers in that you can find that on the company's uh, website they were up eight cents today to three dollars and seventy nine cents. Uh, just looking at the stock chart, it's been on a very powerful move uh, since the bottoms in December there. It actually has been on quite a, an impressive move since you, if you go back to the lows in late June. Uh, and um, I, I'm liking what I'm seeing with this stock chart. Uh, I'm going to have to do some more homework, uh, consider it for the uh, end of the week show. NSU is their symbol and they trade on Toronto. And the final stock today is Continental Gold. Uh, Continental Gold has a project in Colombia. 
Um, they've hit uh, 0 0.7 meters at of 26.8 grams per ton gold from this project. Uh, I'm, you know, I, I don't usually get uh, too excited about projects in um, in Colombia, but uh, at the end of the day, I also follow drill res results as a main indicator when I want to look at a company, and uh, they definitely have some good drill results there. Um, they've uh, the stock today is down nine cents to three dollars and seven cents on 181,000 shares of trading. This one bottomed uh, in early November, or sorry, early December. Since then, it's been on a a, a nice uh, recovery. Uh, it's got above its 20 and 50 day moving average. It's now uh, then it touched its 100 day, but it kind of bounced on off of that as a roof. Uh, in, since January started, it's now gone back and tested that 20 and 50 day. So if it can hold that 20 and 50 day, uh, I think you got a good shot of it uh, bounce, getting above that uh, 100 day moving average, which is at about $3.60. Continental gold stock symbol is CNL, and they trade on the Toronto Exchange. So that's all the news. We had a really packed show today. Hope I haven't gone too much over the 10-minute time frame. Guys back in head office try to keep me uh, into that 10-minute time frame, uh, so I did my best today. On that note, remember to always do your homework and speak with your financial advisors before making any investment decisions. Um, look for our uh, daily show Monday through Thursday. That's our news show. I do it uh, uh, every day, Monday through Thursday. You can find that on agoracom.com and uh, alanberryreports.com and uh, look for our show tomorrow as we do our end of the week show with George Cholas and I. Have a great day and we'll talk to you soon.